Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2018 general readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. And uh, thank you for your like, share, subscribes, for continuing to send in your support and feedback and comments. And a thank you to all my clients out there, both new and regular, uh, for keeping me busy with the personal one-on-one -on -one readings. And uh, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can get more information and my contact details by going to my YouTube channel and clicking on the About button. And you can also find that same information attached to the description bar of all the videos I post. Turnaround time for personal readings is pretty fast because I do readings full time five to six days a week. Uh, so we can usually schedule a reading uh, anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks, but almost always within a, a couple of weeks period of time, we can set something up for you. And I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. Uh, including six and 12 month overviews too. So if you're interested, send me an email at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. And uh, for those of you who like to utilize the smartphone app Instant Go, you can also find me under my profile Irish Gypsy there and that information is also included with the rest of it. All right, let's get right into this. This reading is for Leo, the fire sign of Leo. Leo the lions are felines for July 2018. Okay, Leo. <clears throat> if you know you're rising in your moon sign, check those out as well for additional clarification. So we begin with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles with Judgment. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Sun with the Ace of Cups and from the bottom of the deck your overall energy guidance and advice for the month is temperance. Well Leo you've got one, two, three, four major arcana cards so significant energy. Uh, three pentacles, one wand, one cup. So it looks like um, a lot of the energy is focused in the pentacles uh, area of your life. Pentacles is earth energy and in the tarot this is usually um, manifested energy of tangible things, things we can see and touch in our life or our day-to-day -day life. It can be things like job, money, finances, property, resources, or the efforts we put into our day-to-day -day life to support that life. Things basically that we can hold on to. <clears throat> so we find ourselves at the beginning of July, end of June, beginning of July with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Five of Wands, Wands is fire energy. And uh, in the tarot, this is usually creative, manifesting energy. It's very action-oriented, powerful, change energy. The Five of Wands is uh, a card about conflict. Uh, it can represent internal or external conflict or a combination of both. It's... <coughs> It's not huge conflict. It's not like tower card energy conflict. You can see that the men in this circle are sparring with each other. They're not using real weapons. They're using practice weapons. So um, for those of you who are having issues or difficulties in the month of July with other people, particularly if there are other people at work because of that clarifying card of the Eight of Pentacles, it can represent petty gossip. There's, there's, uh, you know, it, it can represent petty conflict. Uh, rumor mongering, gossips, uh, for those of you for whom it might be conflict within your family system or with, you know, um, a significant other, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. It can represent, you know, fighting over the same thing over and over again or fighting about petty things. Uh, it can represent circular arguments, you know, um, nobody's really out, to, out for blood, nobody's really out to truly harm anybody but nobody's willing to give an inch. There's no sense of compromise or negotiation with this kind of conflict energy. Uh, so nobody winning, nobody losing. It just keeps kind of going around and around. And what clarifies that is the Eight of Pentacles. I call the Eight of Pentacles the Worker Bee card or the Work card uh, because it does represent somebody who's hard at work uh, and fairly successfully too because in the tarot tens are completion so eight represents you've got a fair amount of work underneath you. He's putting just as much work into this eighth pentacle as he has with this other seven. So it can represent that some of you are working a lot, working overtime, maybe burning the candle a bit at both ends because you have something that you're putting a lot of work and effort into. And so this could be, it could be conflict, Leo, for some of you at your workplace or around your workplace with people that you work with. There may be, 
you know, you may work in one of those spaces where, uh, you know, uh, work environments can often be like any other small communities. Uh, you can, you know, be, there can be issues with people gossiping or talking. Sometimes the five of wands can represent people talking behind your back or just a lot of petty gossip going on. <clears throat> It could be about also within your home system as well. Because when I talk about the Eight of Pentacles as work, because Pentacles is that, that, that concrete, practical earth energy about things that we work on or things that we can hold on to. If you don't work outside of your home or uh, maybe you don't work a conventional job or you clock in and out, you know, it's not a nine to five or maybe you work at home, you're a homemaker. This, it can just represent the work that you do the work that you're putting into something on a day-to-day -day basis that supports your day-to-day -day life. It can also represent a lot of work that you're putting into a project of some kind too. It could be a project that you're working on with other people. <clears throat> so regardless of, you know, the specifics and details, because in general readings, it's always going to vary because there's so many of you watching. It could be workplace, it could be a project, it could be within your family uh, dynamics or within a personal relationship. Um, I get this sense of circular conflict, like either the two of you or the group of you are arguing about the same thing over and over again. And for some of you, it just may be drama going on in your workplace. And it doesn't feel like there's a sense of teamwork here. Now, next to that is the two of pentacles with judgment. So more earth energy here with the two of pentacles. This can be a card about uh, juggling, working, uh, you know, being quite busy. Uh, it can also represent using, um, being successful at something using unorthodox means. It can represent, again, also being busy as well. Some of you may be quite busy during the month of July. You may be working quite hard. Uh, twos also represent duality, crossroads, and choices. So you may be struggling between one thing or another. You may be juggling uh, two different things. I feel like for some of you, especially because it's clarified by judgment, which is another choice card or a card that often comes up when there's a choice or a decision that needs to be made. Twos can represent choices and crossroads too. So I feel like a lot of you are in the process, maybe in the second week or around the middle of July or so, time being always fairly fluid in a general reading. You may be trying to decide between one thing or another and it may have something to do with work or a project or something that you're, something that has to do with this conflict that's going on. It's like you're in a position where you're trying to make a decision with something and um, you're kind of going back and forth. Some of you, again, it may represent busy work being quite busy as well. What clarifies it is judgment. Judgment is a major arcana card and it's a call to action card. You can see one of these archangels is blowing his uh, big horn, his trumpet here, though I actually don't think that's a trumpet, but uh, it's a call to action. So especially clarifying the two of pentacles, it looks like there's a choice in front of you. Now judgment carries an air of finality with it, meaning that for those of you who are in a decision-making process, particularly if it's about work or something within your work environment or a project you're working on, there's conflict with other people or within a group of people that you're around or that you're working with. Judgment can represent that whatever choice or decision that you make, um, be careful about what you choose because whatever you send into motion, you're not going to be, to be able to reverse. You're not going to be able to reverse it easily. That's what the era of finality is about. Whatever you choose is going to set the stage for something for quite some time to come. So it is a call to action, but be careful um, that this decision or choice that you make is not spontaneous or impulsive, whether it seems like a small decision in the present or whether it seems like a big decision. Um, it's going to set the stage for something for quite some time and often the, the action that you take, the choice that you make, sends a message not only to the people around you, but yourself and your character and what you're kind of willing to do or not to do here. Now, next to that, we have the Three of Pentacles, followed by the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. So more Pentacles energy here, more Earth energy. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a card about teamwork. This is about compromise and negotiation. Uh, and it's interesting because the way that the cards, I pulled two cards for each week and the top row of cards uh, 
are the first cards that come out. The bottom ones are the clarifiers. So we have the Five of Wands, this conflict, the Two of Pentacles, decision, choice making, kind of juggling between two things, going back and forth between two things, and then the Three of Pentacles. Here's your compromise, your negotiation, your teamwork, which we didn't have with the Five of Wands. Some of you, this decision that you're going to be making, um, or the decision that's in front of you to make, or will be um, in July, this Five of Wands conflict card can represent internal conflict. You may not, not all of you may be in conflict with other people. It can represent internal conflict too, something going around and around. You can't quite decide between one thing and another. Here is the Compromise and Negotiation card, because that's what the Three of Pentacles represents. It's the Artisanship card. In other tarot decks, it's often depicted with at least one other person here because it's a card about people coming together to build or create something or accomplish something. Um, even if they don't necessarily like each other, even if they all don't agree or have the same ideas, they all agree that something is meant to be created, built, something needs, there perhaps needs to be a resolution of this conflict for some of you. And so because everybody does agree on that one thing, it's all about kind of coming to the table, putting your heads together, compromising and negotiation, which means giving a little and taking a little in order to achieve what you're hoping to accomplish. In terms of project or work, the Three of Pentacles can represent the small successes that you have when you're in the process of working towards a big goal, a common cause, or a greater good. So it is a card about teamwork, people coming together to accomplish something. Um, and again, in a general reading, what that something is is going to vary. Some of you, it's going to be very concrete, like a work project, a project you're working on with other people. It could be that the resolution, whatever you're trying to accomplish, might be the resolution or end and resolution of this conflict. And I feel like it's, you're going to have some good fortune, good luck, and divine timing and orchestration in how to do this because uh, the, the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, which is a major arcana card, great card to have in the upright position. It represents energies um, of God's spirit, angels, and guides, which of course we have no control over. Um, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position typically implies that it's a stroke of good luck, of good fortune, of things working in your favor. Uh, the right thing coming along at the right time in the right manner, uh, but possibly in an unexpected way um, that's, you know, a good fortune. It's an unexpected blessing of some kind. Some of you may be in charge of a group of people that are not, maybe there's, there's a, a, a goal or something that needs to be accomplished or built or worked out, and people are arguing about how to do it, whether it's at work or in the family system. And you might be kind of <laughs> the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> you you might be one of those people, uh, or the person that is tasked, or people kind of look to you to bring everybody together and help everybody kind of compromise, negotiate, kind of a mediator, so to speak. Uh, for those of you for whom that resonates, I feel like you're going to uh, this Wheel of Fortune represents that you're going to have some inspiration, some kind of intuitive flashes on how to do that and how to accomplish that. But it does look like around the middle of the month, maybe around the third week or so, that um, people are coming together, either two persons or this group of people are coming together to kind of find a way to um, bring this conflict to a resolution so uh, that you can focus on what's really important because that's what the Three of Pentacles really is about. That's what compromise and negotiation and teamwork is about, especially when you have a lot of different people you know, everybody agrees on the one thing that needs to be accomplished or resolved. Everybody may not agree on how to do that, but compromise and negotiation requires people to focus on what actually the priority is and let go of like a lot of the little stuff around that in order to kind of agree on something. And it looks like there's definitely good luck and good fortune working in your favor and in the group's favor as well. Now at or towards the end of the month, we have a great combination of cards, Leo. We have the Sun, your ruling planet, and the Ace of Cups. Some of you may be having birthdays within this month as well, so happy birthday for those Leos that are uh, our July Leos, and those Cancers, which are July Cancers as well. So the Sun is, in my opinion, the most powerfully influential positive card in the tarot because 
when the sun comes out, it shines over everything. It makes everything transparent. In fact, one of the few cautionary advices of the sun is is uh, to operate with as much honesty as possible because you can't hide anything under the sun. The sun makes everything transparent. But it represents an uplifting of energy. I mean, think about what the sun brings. Light, love, warmth, laughter. It encourages things to grow. Uh, there's a strong social theme. It represents fun. It can represent being actually out in the sun. It's, it's summertime in a lot of places in the month of July. Some of you might be traveling as well, going on vacation, having a good time, getting away for a while, traveling to do that. It represents an uplifting of energy and a loosening up of maybe what was previously restrictive energy. If finances have been a little tight, it looks like at the end of the month when the sun comes out, things loosen up, things lighten up. You can breathe a little deeper again. Uh, kind of a winter into spring, sickness into health kind of energy. And it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. Cups is water energy. And in the tarot, this is the energy of the heart. This is your, about your emotional landscape, feelings. It's also the area uh, in the tarot that deals with relationships of all kinds. Aces represent the number one. So they always represent the start of something, a new beginning, the, the, the beginning of a new path that has a lot of potential and, or an opportunity that has a lot of potential if it's nurtured and taken care of. So the Ace of Cups sometimes can represent a new love and romance. Uh, some of you might be, you know, falling in love or meeting somebody quite interesting at the end of July. It represents the heart opening up again. Uh, it can represent renewal, an emotional renewal of some kind too. Some of you I'm actually getting, if there have been some relationship issues in your life or your relationship, your significant relationship, whatever that might mean to you, um, has been going through a difficult period or a rocky period, which I've been feeling last couple of months. Some of the signs have really been dealing with some, you know, relationship crises or real difficulties. I feel like the two of you are going to be... Um, working things out in the month of July because for some of you this might be a uh, relationship reading in terms of just you and another person whether that's a love and romance relationship or just a good friendship or close connected work relationship uh, too. I'm also getting that some of you I feel like your health may have been affected by a lot of stresses which have been going on with conflict with your significant other possibly with another person in addition or with a group of people you, it may have been like affecting your health in a lot of ways anxiety stress insomnia uh, maybe manifesting in little things like aches and pains headaches I feel like the end of the month regardless of how you look at it the end of July looks really 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 good I think that um, for those of you who have not been feeling well you're going to be feeling a lot better at the end of the month particularly those of you who are going to be getting away for a while as well um, emotional renewal within existing relationships regardless of the nature of that relationship um, whether it's work or love or friend or family as well it looks like there's a problem you guys work together to solve it. There's some decisions and choices to be made. People come together and agree on what's important. They let the little stuff, they leave the little stuff behind as they move forward. Um, I feel like you're really, Leo, being divinely cradled in a very positive way um, this month as well. Your overall energy from the bottom of the deck is temperance major arcana card of temperance. I love temperance. It has such a lovely balanced energy to it because it's about temperance. Temperance means to be grounded in the middle, to be centered, grounded, focused. Um, I think for a lot of you, temperance may represent an emotional stability throughout the month. As advice, it would represent being careful about your emotions to stay kind of grounded in the center and not allow yourself to get too emotionally, um, you know, not allow your emotions to kind of get out of control, particularly in terms of trying to come to a, a successful resolution of some kind of conflict. Uh, temperance means to uh, be grounded, be centered. It means to hold opposite extremes in unison and harmony. Um, as I often think of when I look at temperance, in the culinary world, to temper something means to take something of varying degrees, usually something hot and something cold, and blending them together to make a harmonious mixture. You have to do it slowly because if you try and do it all of a, all at a sudden, all of a sudden, the two mixtures won't combine together. So temperance, um, in a mental and emotional and spiritual way, is about kind of knowing where you are, knowing what you're grounded in, staying in center. 
Um, in terms of teamwork and compromise and negotiation and helping resolve a conflict, temperance represents kind of staying focused on what is the most important thing in the situation and not allowing yourself to kind of be swayed or emotionally reactive one way or the other, like being in the middle of a seesaw or teeter-totter. You know, when you're when you know what the most important thing is, who you are, where you're going, what's the more, most important thing to accomplish here, Leo, you're in the center. When you're not sure about that, you're kind of on the outside ends of this teeter-totter, so you're at the mercy of external elements, you know, other people, opinions, your own emotions and feelings. So the path to success this month, Leo, is to stay centered and grounded and tempered. Um, because I have this feeling that... In whatever this conflict is, whether it's with you and one person, with you and a couple of people, or within a group of people, I feel like, Leo, you are an influential person um, in this situation and um, a significant factor in helping this resolution, this conflict come to a close, finding an answer and working on that answer. So remember temperance throughout the month of July, Leo. So Leo, that pretty much sums up your July 2018 general reading. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope that it has been helpful to all of you. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can get more information and my contact details by uh, going to my YouTube channel's homepage and clicking on that little about button. Please feel free to contact me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you and set up a personal reading with you as soon as possible. I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact with more information. And uh, for those of you who like to use the smartphone on app Instant Go. Uh, for quick answers to quick questions, you can also find me on that app under Irish Gypsy. That link is also included. I believe there's some new uh, channel package promotional specials running uh, for phone readings there. So check that out if you're interested. So Leo, I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the July mid-month uh, readings. And until then, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Take care, Leo, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.